morning guys it's friday december the 8th um i just woke up <laughs> and i have to make my lunch have some breakfast and get ready to go to work um but we're going to find elfie today uh, real quick and i'm gonna take zoe to see if we can find Elfie and then she can have Comet today. All right. Oh. Oh, goodness. I think I already spot her. She's swinging on the doorknob. She's swinging on the doorknob. <laughs> Look at that, Zoe. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. <laughs> All right. Well, hi, Comet. Comet was there watching her. Okay, Zoe, I'm going to go and put you back in your chair, and I'll get Comet for you in a minute. Okay, Comet. Come on over. Zoe's going to snuggle you today. My goodness, he's almost as big as her. <laughs> have a fun day with Comet. Now I have to hurry and get ready. <sighs> well, guys, it is the end of the day. And I really don't have much else to add to this vlog, unfortunately. Because I don't feel so good. <laughs> Um, so a couple of days ago, I, um, called in to refill some of my prescriptions and I meant to get Alex to pick them up on Wednesday night because one of the medications I didn't have any left for, or sorry, yeah, wait, today's Friday, okay, so Thursday night, I wanted him to pick it up Thursday night, um, so last night, <laughs> but I forgot to tell him to do that, and so one of the medications I did not have to take today, and it was the Entecort uh, for my colitis, which is a steroid. And so I felt okay all day, pretty much. But towards the end of the day, as I was coming home, my joints started to hurt. And by the time I got home, my whole body was in pain. And on top of it, I thought that my cold was going away. Like I thought it, I was almost, it was almost gone. I, I really thought it was. Um, <coughs> but all of a sudden on the way home, my, or actually before it was at work, um, in the afternoon, my right nostril started getting stuffy. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then on the way home, my throat started hurting. And now my throat is very, very sore. Um, every time I swallow, it just hurts. And now I'm all stuffy. My nose, well, again, it's just the right nostril, the right side is stuffed up. But the left side, I feel like I have a hair on my tongue. It's probably from Riley. <laughs> um, and yeah, so my throat is sore and scratchy and my nose is stuffy and I'm like, I thought this cold was almost gone. And the whole time I've had this cold for the whole two weeks, my nose has been runny and not stuffy which is annoying in and of itself, but I take that, I take a runny nose over a stuffy nose any day because I hate it when I can't breathe through my nose. 
um, especially at night. That is the worst. So I took nasal spray, but it hasn't really helped. So I think I'm, it, it was like a decongestant nasal spray. So I think I'm going to try, um, just a, um, a saline spray before I go to bed. But I just pretty much have been laying down watching TV the rest of the evening. And now I am like super duper wiped out and ready for bed. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I hope I feel better tomorrow. I hope this is just like a little bump on the way to recovery. I, I don't know. I hope I haven't caught a different cold now. <laughs> I mean, it's my birthday weekend. I don't want to be sick. My dad's coming over tomorrow for a visit. And um, then I'm going to actually... Uh, Alex and I were supposed to go out in the evening to a going away party for his cousin. Because um, they're moving to... Her and her husband are moving to Chile. Because he got a job there. And... Um, I've decided I'm not going to go. Alex agrees. Like I should just stay home and rest. Um, I've probably been like, I've been go, go, go the last few weeks. Even with this cold, I've just been going, 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 trying to get stuff done for Christmas. So I need a night to stay home and rest <laughs> and just take it easy. So that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully I'll feel better, but I don't know. Like right now I feel like absolute crap. And I was like so bummed because I really thought this cold was almost gone. I was feeling a lot better even yesterday, like so much better. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is what happens when you are taking a steroid that suppresses your immune system along with my Fortic, which also suppresses your immune system. No immune system during cold and flu season. Not fun. <laughs> and then, actually, this morning, I was running a bit late because there was a lot of traffic. And so I forgot, actually, that... Margaret and Annie's dad was off today and was at home. He had some errands and things that he was running. Um, but when I texted um, Margaret's mom to just let her know I was going to be late, she said, oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, she goes, I actually am not going into work today because I was up sick all night. So apparently she was up all night with the flu, puking her guts out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, so I don't want to get that. Um, and apparently, I don't remember if it was this week or last week. Well, no, it wasn't this week. Because this week I, no, it was last week. Last week there was this day I'm thinking it was on Wednesday where um, I was on my way to work and their mom texted me and said that Margaret might stay homesick from school, that she was laying down in bed and they would see how she was feeling. And when I got there, she decided she wanted to go to school and felt okay and like to go to school. She just needed she was just tired and needed extra sleep. Well, her mom, I guess, failed to fill me in on the whole details until today because after her mom was telling me that she was up all night last night throwing up, she was wondering if she caught it from Margaret because last week, the night before Margaret was like maybe going to stay home from school, she had apparently thrown up in the middle of the night. And so that's probably why she was so tired in the morning because she was up sick during the night. So I'm like, why would you send your kid to school 
<laughs> when they just threw up in the middle of the night. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, so that was news to me too. So, um, yeah, so the last few weeks, both Annie and Margaret have had colds. They still have lingering coughs. And then obviously Margaret was puking last week. Mom was puking last night. So I'm just like, oh, awesome. I'm surrounded by bugs with no immune system. <laughs> uh, yeah. So to say I am a germaphobe right now is putting it mildly. I am like constantly washing my hands and using hand sanitizer and my hands are so dry <laughs> and I keep putting lotion on and they're still dry. Like look at my knuckles guys. My knuckles are like red. See right in there? They're all red and blotchy <laughs> because I am continuously washing my hands because I'm paranoid. Um, because when you're on immune suppressant drugs, a very, just any little bug, um, has the potential to turn into a really bad infection and, you know, you could get really sick and end up in the hospital and all that stuff. It's just like, thankfully, knock on wood, that has never happened yet. Um, but what happens to me mostly is I do get a lot of colds and occasional stomach bugs. And when I get them, they linger on and on and on. And I, I don't know what, if when it lingers like that, if it's the same bug lingering on and on and just taking a long time to get out of my system because I have no immune system to fight it. Or if it's that I'm catching one bug, like, right after another. I, I don't know. But Alex um, took care of me tonight. He heated up my... I have these microwavable slippers. Because in the wintertime, from my lupus, I get what's called Raynaud's phenomenon in my toes. Where <coughs> any little bit of cold that hits my feet, um, I, my feet go numb, my toes go completely numb, and they sting, it, it's actually very painful, um, so I have those slippers for that reason, so he heated those up for me, because my toes were in agony, and then he also got me my heating pad, so I use that for my hands because my hands were also um, getting the Raynaud's and um, my knuckles, like my joints in my hands were very painful. So I had that and then I also had this blanket on me to try and keep warm. Um, and then he made me a Neocitrin to drink for my throat and my cold and all that. So, that is that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to do this. Tomorrow is December 9th. Um, or actually, today is December 9th because it is after midnight now. And um, here's Mr. Riley. You got to show him in every video because you know you love him. We all love Riley, don't we? He has been the biggest suck tonight. I should have, I wish I had had my camera handy earlier because I would have filmed. Alex was like loving on him. It was so cute. Because Riley was um, sitting up on the back of the couch there and Alex was just like giving him so many pets. And, like, Riley even, like, put his nose to Alex's nose. It was so cute. But can you hear? My nose is, like, so stuffy. I'm not impressed. Because <laughs> at least all this time I've been able to breathe at night. So it didn't bother me that um, my nose was runny. Hey, buddy. Um, but anyway. 
Are you going to come and sleep with us tonight, buddy? You slept with us last night. He was by my feet, weren't you? Yeah, you were by my feet. I just find, like, the older he gets, the more sucky he gets. He just wants more and more attention and pets and cuddles and kisses. Don't you? Oh, you're such a handsome little fellow. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Boop, boop. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to sign off for um, day eight of Vlogmas because I have no energy to do anything else. I started on some Christmas cards at work. I took some with me. Um, I'm, I was working on my um, Christmas cards for doll friends with our group photo. Um, but I wanted to finish all of my Christmas cards tonight, but I just had zero energy to do that. So now, um, <laughs> I didn't even get to cleaning up because I have stuff that I have to put away and I haven't gotten to it yet. And my dad's coming tomorrow, so I want to clean up. So I'm going to have to get up in the morning and clean before he comes. <laughs> so I have to do that and then maybe if I feel up to it I can get the rest of the Christmas cards done after my dad goes home so yeah my dad actually um has to have surgery on the 20 I think it's the 21st or the 22nd I think it's the 22nd um he has a hernia but I'll tell you more about that in the next video because I want to go to bed. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Sorry, this was a very uneventful vlog, but it is what it is. So I hope you all have a good night and a wonderful weekend. And hopefully I'll feel better for my birthday weekend. Click that thumbs up button and send prayers for me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.